Hey all, it's me Josh with PhantomMentor.com. We're out here at the uh, St. Louis Barbecue Society's event in Smithton, Illinois. Um, we're going to go talk to some teams and we're going to go meet some cooks as we always do on Cook Me. Come on along. Cook Me! Cook Me! So, how long have you been competing in barbecue now? Oh uh, man, uh, I started cooking with a buddy of mine uh, about eight years ago, and then we started Heavy Smoke by five years ago. And uh, how's that been working out? Heavy Smoke? Pretty good, you know, uh, we've you know got a few awards here and there, and we're able to turn it into a business. we got a food truck and catering company now, so we're, uh, we're mixing business with pleasure. No brick and mortar, just food truck? No brick and mortar, we're just moving around. Probably a better idea. Well, kind of a proof of concept, you know. You want to make sure people like your food, and make sure they'll follow you around, and if they'll follow us from city to city, they'll definitely come to our brick and mortar when we open Where it. Where do they find your food truck? Where's the we're we're all over St. Charles, uh, St. Charles, Missouri, for the most part around that area. But you can go uh, Facebook or Heavy Smoke Barbecue, yeah, yeah. and uh, website HeavySmokeBBQ.com. HeavySmokeBBQ.com. Okay. Yep. I'll make sure everybody knows it. Yeah, man, it's awesome. So, uh, how many competitions do you think you're going to cook in this summer? We'll do, uh, I think I have 26 on the schedule. Holy oh, shit. Bro. So, you must have some dedicated staff and or volunteers? My dad. Your dad? It's just me and my dad. Yeah. Wow. My old man, he travels all over. He hasn't missed a comp in four years. Wow. Yeah. So, was he the one who kind of got the whole ball rolling? Or no, no, not at all. You? So, I cooked in a restaurant all through high school and college. My best friend, he was my mentor in the restaurant, is now my business partner with the food truck, catering company. And so I had a buddy of mine, he worked for me, and he was like, hey, he used to cook. He's like, I do competition barbecue. And so I went out to our first competition, and uh, the team next to us literally set their smoker on fire, and they beat us in every category. And for some reason, for some reason, I came back, and the next year I cooked chicken on his team. I cooked the whole year, not that successful. Then we started getting some scheduling conflicts, and I was like, hey man, I'm gonna try this thing on my own. And the first competition I cooked on my own, I, I got reserve grand champion. I never looked back. So I've been cooking on my own. And then my brother in law cooked me for a couple years, and then he's got a son that plays super competitive soccer. And so he got busy and he's kind of faded out, and my dad just started coming, and he hasn't missed one in four years, man. Yeah, he retires in July, so he's excited to. He's excited to not have to work before these things. He was 62 years old out here lifting drums and helping me carry boxes and stuff. So, Well, it's good to have dedicated support oh, yeah. in the barbecue competition scene. Right? Oh, yeah, man. My old man works his tail off. So uh, how are you going to finish tomorrow? You never know, man. You never know? Barbecue, I mean, it, all you can do is you can have your best cook and hope you get lucky. You know, there's a, there's a piece of luck in all of this. Uh, this, our, this will be our third year pro. Third year? Yeah, it's probably our first year full time. How are you feeling about your abilities at this point three years in? It's gotten better over the years. Yeah. A lot of good competition out here. Yeah. Um, so, um, is this the first one of the year or you got. This is actually our third year. How have you done so far this season? We did real well at the first one. Uh, we did freeze cube. And uh, we did get had a sixth place ribs, but overall we finished about mid pack. It wasn't too good. Ribs though? Uh, sixth place ribs, yeah. That's a good call. Yeah. It's always good when you get an aim call, right? Oh yeah. It's uh, it's, I think it's kind of amazing how the the wife and husband teams they tend to do pretty damn good. Yeah. You, have you seen that happen? Or? Yeah, it's, it's uh, I think it's a little easier to uh, deal with your spouse. Than to deal with somebody else, you know. Nice. She, uh, I do all the, all the cooking, uh, all, all the trimming, injecting, and cooking. She makes everything look pretty. She uh, does the boxing, and uh, she does a lot of the. Uh, she builds the boxes and keeps things going in the trailer. Keeps us on timeline. You know, there's nothing worse than watching the guy who drank all night the night before put together a parsley box in about 15. Oh yeah. 
Never works out, does it? No, no, it probably looked like my first one, which looked like Fido's ass. It was, it was bad, you know. I thought it looked good, but no. Alright, when we last met, it was your second competition ever. Uh, tell me what's happened since then. How good are you now? Hit it. That really ain't no better. <laughs> Now, would you say that you have to be more precise with a pork butt or with a brisket when you're injecting? Uh, or does it matter? A, I think a brisket, probably a little bit I'd have more. To say I don't think it really matters that much to me, uh, personally. I think the big thing on a brisket injection yeah. is that you want to inject with the green as opposed to against the green. That's uh -huh. the, really the only thing that makes a difference. Uh, you can feel the pork butts, it's like a sponge, it just goes in and swells up. Yeah, pork butt's pretty easy to inject, you just... Oh, so, we're using a uh, Pro Shot uh, injector, and... I think my doctor used that same thing on me. <laughs> yeah. And it wasn't just, apple juice. I'm giving it a couple squirts, and moving on, I just move about maybe inch, inch and a half or so in a lateral line. So how many competitions were you guys cooking this year, you think? Uh, we're going to do probably maybe around four or five, I'd say. Four or five? Yeah. See So I was just talking to Heavy Smoke a little while back. Yeah. How many competitions do you think they said they were going to do? Uh, he's, uh, he's, a, he's, in the he's in the 35 probably range. 26. You guys, oh, yeah, you, you yeah, guys yeah. caught the bookends. Yeah, they do a lot. Yeah, he's... He's awesome. Um, the question I have is, if you saw a, uh, a new team, first competition out, yep. what's the advice you give them? Uh, make your turn-in times. <laughs> that's the biggest one, for sure. That's what, yeah. that's what we were told, our yeah. first one. They like, said, just make sure. Just you finish. Just finish make, yeah. the job. Y yeah, you it, is the hard, it is hard. Harder than people think the first oh, yeah. one. Yeah, Especially when you got a beer drinking crew, uh, you bu uh, young bucks out there, yeah. they, they sleep right through uh, when you got to get the ribs on, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm yeah. stay awake. And, yeah. If you don't make your turn in time, you can't, you can't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. I always thought that the show The Walking Dead was based on barbecue cooks that stayed up all night thinking they could handle the booze and the competition, and then they w walk into the the actual award ceremony and they definitely look like they should be on that show. Yeah. Well, you see we're going to give it a three-stage rub. Uh-huh. A lot of sweet, a lot of heat. I've totally used that one before. Folks, we're not going to show you what it is, but I've totally used that one before. This one? Yes, for sure. Yeah, that's a good one. I, I uh, on ribs a lot too as well. Yeah. Fact, uh, all right, they're ready to let, cook. We're, we're gonna let them sweat for. We're, we're gonna let them yeah, sweat for a while and then throw them off. Yeah, what, how, how long are they gonna be on? You think? Uh, probably twelve. Till turn in, 12, right? Thirteen hours. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks. Thank all right, you. Bye. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> Cut me!